everybody, how are you? This is Andrea and today I am bringing you another episode of my eye making series. So we have the bases which we made in the previous episodes. As you can see, I already started coloring them. I will use any nail art that I have around, be it gems, pearls and stickers. There are many ways to color the eyes and today I will show you a few different options. So I start by applying a thin layer of Liquitex Matte Medium. This is to create a nice texture for our materials to stick on. Now let it dry. Then I start painting the iris with a nice baby blue color. You can use acrylics or gouache paints. Now I draw the rim of the iris with some pencils. It doesn't matter what type of pencils you use, any will do the job. Next I start adding some brown pastel in the middle. Now I glue a blue gem in the middle of the iris. For this step I use regular PVA glue. Now that the glue has dried, I paint the gem with brown acrylic paint. As you can see, I don't paint it completely, because I really want to keep a bit of a blue halo effect from the gem. And now it's time to sprinkle some shimmer. Alright, now let's paint some other eyes. You can use almost any materials that you want. Here I am adding some blue pearlescent pigment, while the brown paint is just regular acrylic paint. As you can see there is no strict rule, I am just testing different styles to see what I personally like. Ok, now let's have some fun with some stickers. Eyes don't need to look realistic if you don't want to. You can go as crazy as you want. Cool, 
So when you're happy with the eye designs, it is time to make the cornea of the eye. For that we will use Lisa Pavelka Magic Gloss. To cure it we will need a simple UV nail lamp. Now slowly add the gloss. If you see any bubbles, make sure to pop them with a toothpick. Done, so let's turn on the lamp and let the gloss cure for 3 minutes. And this is the result! I think making your own eyes is a great idea when you can't find the exact color or style that you want. I am only a beginner at eye making, so I'll make sure to share any new findings or techniques that I learn. As usual, if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up, comment and share. Also, massive thanks to my Patreon family who are making all these videos possible. Oh, and before I forget, if you ever use my tutorials to support your own projects, let me know by using this hashtag on Instagram or Twitter. That way I can see your creations and maybe even repost it. So this is it. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you again next week. Bye!